Bob's Hungry Ghost by Genevieve Cote. Bob has a ghost. He really wanted a dog or a cat or even a gerbil, but Bob got a ghost for his birthday and he called it Fluffy. The ghost thinks Fluffy is a silly name, but it doesn't matter what Bob calls him since Fluffy never listens anyway. When Bob says, fetch Fluffy fetch, or sit Fluffy sit, Fluffy doesn't move an inch. Ghosts don't like to fetch at all, and they can't actually sit. Walking a ghost on a leash isn't a very good idea either. Fluffy can't walk, but he sure can fly. He is also good at hide and seek. Too bad Bob doesn't seem to like it. Fluffy wonders what to do. He glows in the dark for a while, but it isn't much fun when no one is watching. Fluffy is getting bored. He starts munching on a book. Ghosts are awfully hungry when they're bored. And a hungry ghost will eat anything. Fluffy is getting bigger and bigger. Things keep disappearing around the house. Bob is puzzled. Have you seen my teapot? He asks. Have you seen my clock? And is it my imagination? Or have you gotten rather big? Fluffy shrugs and tries to look as innocent as a lamb. Ghosts hardly look like lambs. Soon, the house is almost empty. Bob doesn't notice Fluffy looming closer and closer. Hey! Bob spins and swirls and lands with a loud thump. What happened? He looks around. There's my teapot and my clock and all of my things. But everything seems different, glowing palely in the dark. Why, they're as pale as... A ghost! Bob is inside Fluffy's belly. Bad ghost, he calls out. Bad, bad ghost. There's no answer from Fluffy except a loud burp. Oh, well, Bob sighs. He finds some hot chocolate, settles in his armchair, and picks up a book. The Big Book of Ghosts. He begins to read. Although they cannot walk or sit, ghosts love to fly. They can appear and disappear, glow in the dark, and go through walls. Ghosts are very special. But if your ghost doesn't feel welcome in your house, watch out for mischief. Hmm, Bob thinks. Ghosts are sure special. Hmm, Fluffy thinks too. Now he has nothing left to eat and no friend to play with. Fluffy misses Bob. He even misses all that sitting and fetching nonsense. Besides, eating Bob wasn't a very nice thing to do. Fluffy takes a deep breath and opens his mouth as wide as a door. Bob jumps out. Bob looks at Fluffy. Fluffy looks at Bob. Bob cracks a smile. And Fluffy giggles. He laughs so hard that he spits out all of Bob's things.
Now Fluffy is never bored and feels at home with Bob. Together they play ball and hide and seek and read bedtime stories, especially ghost stories. Bob thinks everyone should get a ghost for their birthday. <laughs>